Brett from Survival Cops. Getting this kind of performance on your micro transceiver is not that difficult. You can see that the wide bandwidth and the 5 kilohertz tuning step doesn't make for a very effective use of this as a receiver on anything but shortwave broadcasting. These antennas are easy to make. Just get yourself a little reel type of shortwave monitoring antenna, which is just a spool of wire on here. It's easy to pay out and retract. Usually they have like a three and a half millimeter connector. Just lop that connector off because you're not going to need it. Get yourself a crimp type of SMA connector and we're going to use a small piece of heat shrink tubing as a strain relief. Now go ahead and take and pay out your wire and you're going to remove about a quarter inch of insulation from your wire so you can do that with a razor blade or you can do it with a fancy stripper like that now we're going to want to deconsolidate the wires because they're going to be a little too big to fit into our SMA connector and make sure that it'll fit into the back of your connector and once you have enough wire there to make it fit in the back of your connector Trim off the excess with a precision cutter or a scissor. And then you'll cut it to length. Length on these is usually around 5 millimeters. And you'll see you'll bring it back to where it'll fit like that. And then we're going to go ahead and solder it. Before you do your soldering, do yourself a favor and throw your heat shrink tubing on. And I use a little bit of flux. Put your pin back on. Solder your connector. Once your work is cooled, go ahead and take your body of your SMA connector and put your center pin in, and you're going to have to push it into place. When it's properly assembled, you'll see your center pin, the base of it is even with the insulation. Now, although I'm not going to be using a crimp shell, I'm going to take my crimping plier and I'm going to apply a crimp on the tail of this connector here, and that way the connector will bear up against this insulation, and it will strengthen the connection to a certain degree. So I'm using my one-tenth crimp dot hole and just applying a light crimp. After applying the crimp, take your heat shrink down, place it over the tail of your connector, and use your heat gun. Once your work is cooled down, you can examine your work. And you can see how it stows nicely in this housing here. Uh, your connection is protected. You can throw this thing in your pocket, a pack, or whatever have you. And whenever you need to deploy the antenna, just go ahead and reverse it. And the connector comes out, and you can deploy your antenna. And now you've completed an effective shortwave monitoring antenna for your micro receiver. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comps. Till next time.